Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use the fill down or fill up functionality in Power Query. So here I have the sales data and you can see that the date is only mentioned once for each of these records. So the date is at the top and then all these records belong to the same date but the date is only mentioned once and then when the date changes again it's only mentioned once and all these records are empty. Now let's see how to rectify this using Power Query. So I would go to the data tab here and I would click on the from table range. This opens the query editor and I have this data here. Now any blank cell in Excel shows up as a null value here in Power Query. So all these null would actually mean that these are blank records. Now to fill down, I would have to select this column, which is already selected in this case. And now I would go to transformation and here within any column, I have this option fill. And here I have two options. I can either fill down or I can fill up. Now see what happens when I click on fill down. Instantly, it will fill all these cells here till the next date. So you can see till here, these are all 1st July and then from the next date onwards, it becomes 2nd July and so on. So instantly, within a few clicks, I have entered and filled down all the empty cells. Now, let me delete this and show you how the fill up functionality works. In case of fill up, it will fill up these values. So first in, in fill down, it was 1st July 2018 that was filling down. In this case, it would be 2nd July that would be filling up. So if I come here and I click fill up, you can see instantly these are all the records for 2nd July. And then for 3rd July, the records are filled up. So if you have blanks, let's say it's in case of dates or any other records where you want to fill down the data, then you can use these options. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.